social media and in the content of this of the podcast itself. I think that's amazing. And you're lucky to have a partner who also, you know, helps out with that promotion. But I think that, you know, consistency is something that everybody needs to understand it is one of the keys to everything. I think it's funny. My current coach has a podcast and she will tell you, I have never edited a podcast episode. I have never uploaded a podcast episode. I do not know how to do either one. Um, but she said that doesn't mean that you can't do it. It just means that I started mine at a point where I was able to pay someone right off the bat and I just never learned it. And yeah. You know, going back to what you said a, a few minutes ago about niching down, some of the most successful podcasts out there are really pretty broad. If you look at, um, I always think of Lewis Howe's School of Greatness. Um, he covers every topic under the sun, both business and health and spirituality and all sorts of other things. And sometimes I think that when people are attracted to a podcast, they're partly attracted to you. You know, you were talking about, you know, trying to stand out and bring your authenticity to things. I think that sometimes a podcast is successful because the personality behind it is someone that people enjoy listening to and feel connected with. Yes. And niching down in a podcast maybe isn't, I'm going to commit heresy here, maybe isn't as important as if you're coaching or if you are, um, you know, looking to do a um, digital service, mm -hmm. May maybe podcasting is a little bit broader because you want people to feel like you understand all of them. And as you said, doing, you know, a hundred episodes on Google reviews probably isn't going to keep your listeners engaged. <laughs> right. Yeah. It gets boring and gets redundant. And what they say is once you have a, an established following, then you can branch out and talk about right. things. Um, so that's that's the advice that they give you. It's not it's not forever that you have to just talk about Google reviews or talk about whatever your thing is, but it is until you establish a following, you need to stay true to just that one topic. Uh, but for me, I just couldn't think of one topic other than the extreme marketing that was um that, that I had enough to say about on a consistent basis or that really encapsulated the value that I wanted to give to my listeners. I wanted to share with them all of my experience and there's not just one thing that I did to bring me to the place that I am now. There was a whole host of things and it's an ongoing experimentation and ongoing process. And I wanted to take them along that journey with me. And I, I didn't know how to do that if I narrowed myself to just one specific subject, but there's still wisdom in it. I still understand it and I'm still wrestling with it to try to find a niche that would be fitting for me. But so far, extreme marketing, born to stand out is the closest thing we've come up with. Well, I love it. And I am obviously your listeners are loving it because you're doing outstanding. And I think that's amazing. Is there anything that you think listeners might really benefit from in terms of either, you know, starting a business or podcasting or even something legal that you think it would be helpful to throw out here? Sure. I haven't covered. <laughs> yeah. Let me think. So, well, I mentioned briefly about, well, let's see, what would be some really strong advice for, so for, for you think for newer businesses or for established businesses? Let, let's go with newer, because I think that there's a lot of people in my listening audience who would be newer entrepreneurs or business people. So for a new business owner, the best advice I can give is to find a strong mentor. Um, I didn't really do that. I had my friend uh, who, who operated as a mentor, but it wasn't in quite the same 
way as if I had had a paid mentor who was sitting there going through things with me on a weekly or monthly basis. So I think that is the quickest way to reach higher levels of success than you could on your own through trial and error. I did a lot of trial and error and it it probably slowed me more than than I could have grown if I would have had a mentor very early on. And some of the good ones are expensive and people don't necessarily want to invest in that. But if you if you find a good mentor, the value that they will bring to your business supersedes whatever the expense is because there's just no, because the alternative is to just failing and trying again and failing and trying again and failing and trying again. And, uh, and that's why a lot of people quit honestly, yeah. because they're tired of failing. And if you have a roadmap that's worked for someone else and many other people who can guide you along the way, it, uh, it can be the difference between success and failure. Yeah, absolutely. You know, failure brings us great lessons sometimes, but um, as you said, nobody likes to fail. And let's be real, the cost of a really good mentor is a tax deduction on your business expenses. So, <laughs> 100%. And when you were asking me for another piece of advice, I almost went the tax route. Because, <laughs> but when you said new, the taxes don't really become as much of a, of a pain point until you get a little further into your business. But in the beginning, it's just like, I got to get dollars in the, in the account. And then yep. once you have those dollars in your account, you're like, how do I keep them there instead of having to give them all to uncle Sam? So, uh, that's kind of next level after you start to acquire some business. Absolutely. Okay. Brooke, this has been so amazing. Why don't you tell everybody, obviously we know there is the podcast Miss Biz as one way to find you. Tell us how else people can hook up with you if they want to learn more. Sure. So my two websites are Bolts Legal, that's B-O-L-T-Z legal.com and then MissBiz.com. It's M-S-B-I-Z.com. I'm on all the social media channels at, at Miss Biz Podcast is our handle or Bolts Legal, B-O-L-T-Z legal. Awesome. Brooke, this has been a fantastic conversation. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And thank you to all of our listeners. And we will catch you again on the next episode of the Profit Able Podcast. Take care.